hi guys my name is Nancy Ume welcome to my channel today we're making grilled cooker fish hmm. man guys this fish is so delicious this is a very easy healthy and delicious way to make your fish all the time I've tried this recipe for years and it's been working for me so guys let's get to it we need our cleaned crooker fish tilapia is actually a very good substitute if you cannot find crooker fish just make sure you take out all the fins and the gills, the guts, everything, clean the fish properly. And then we need our salt, <clears throat> vegetable oil, some onions, our ginger and garlic paste. I have a recipe for that. We need our bouillon cubes. Now I use one bouillon cube per fish. That's why we have two there because I have four fishes. Pepper soup, spice or suya yaji, very important. The cayenne pepper, paprika for some, you know, smokiness and then our dried habanero or cameroon peppers for heat uh, this is very important because fish can be very nauseating so you need your peppers okay we need our lemons too for some citrus freshness let's get to it and we're going to crush our bouillon cubes you know just crush them one thing i i realized is salt takes out the moisture from the fish so yeah use bouillon cubes to marinate and then you can add salt later okay so we we'll add our cayenne pepper you know suya spice all your peppers you also add your minced onions you can actually puree the onions if you don't like to see it <laughs> okay it's optional you can just puree it straight away add your ginger and garlic paste that's very important for some you know really rich flavors and then you just add your oil not too much just to bind your marinade together and you see because we're trying to keep it healthy here so just a little we go a long way we're going to make some incisions on the fish it's called scoring so that's to make sure that this marinade enters everywhere even inside the bone itself so because i'm going to marinate it for a while so you need to make sure that you know the marinade is entering the fish so you can wear some gloves and just get in there don't be scared you know i didn't really like i was going out i didn't want my hands to you know smell fishy that's why i wore the gloves but you can you know you get your hands in there make sure you apply this marinade to every look and cranny of that fish you know tuck your hands into the, the incision just to, some people will eat the head of fish so you can apply it to the head as well you know i was having guests that day so uh, i was having four guests so that's why i'm preparing this you know many fishes but yeah slice your lemon into thin slices and then put some in the stomach and and the head of the fish it just makes it very nice and fresh. It gives you this citrus freshness that is very important when you're eating fish so you don't get nauseated. Okay, so marinate this for about 30 minutes, you know, not too long because you know the bouillon has some salt. <coughs> Spray your oven rack. Oh my goodness, guys, please just ignore my head. Okay, <laughs> I had no idea I was showing. You add some water to the bottom tray, you know, just to catch the drippings from the grilled fish. And then allow it grill and let's make the sauce so some oil and then onions fry to the translucent and add your ginger and garlic paste and just fry 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 and then add your tomatoes and scotch bonnet when that is ready you can go ahead and add your tomato puree that's optional but that's just to make the sauce plenty yeah because <laughs> i was making for four people so season with some salt bouillon very easy i use this sauce for everything basically it just gives this freshness to everything you're eating and then just add your bell peppers and onions don't overcook just 30 seconds is okay and then set aside now we're going to check on our fish it's been grilling for 30 minutes it's going to have a very crispy crust oh my god guys i look like a village just ignore my head <laughs> when you turn it you grill for another 30 minutes and this is what you're going to end up with something that looks so delicious and so crispy it is not soggy you know that's why we, we put it on the grill you know part of the oven and we use the wire racks this is where you're going to end up with something really delicious guys you can serve this fish for anything with plantain you know potatoes sad coleslaw it's just really enjoyable and every time i give this to my guests they're always like wow what did you season this fish with it's so delicious you guys need to try it try it and let me know this is one of the best you know marinades i've been using for years you can actually add some barbecue elements to it absolutely delicious guys give this video a thumbs up and try to you know roast this fish this way okay <laughs> god bless you guys Bye.